Okay, guys. So you're gonna go to Kaggle and you're gonna down. Uh, you're gonna download this data set to train a convolutional neural network to tell the difference between a clean and a messy one. Okay, so file one equals after you unzip it and import it. File one equals train folder. File two equals validation folder. Import these two libraries. Horizontal flip equals true for both. File one is the train set. That size of 10. Because, look, there's only 192 pictures of two classes. Now for your target size, remember, if you want to make it a different size, you got to change the input shape as well. And then the image shape for prediction as well. The same. Horizontal flip equals true again. That size of 2 because only 20 images of two classes. Okay, guys, remember, dense one for binary. There's your input shape. Now, we're going to do the normal 28, 32, 16. Only we're going to add an 8. But we're going to go 3s and 3s down till 16. It's going to be 2, 2s all the way down. Only difference is stride a 1 at the end. The rest are strides of 2. Panning equals valid. Activation equals ReLU. Activation equals sigmoid because it's binary. SGD, binary cross entropy, categorical accuracy. CNN summary. And watch it train at 15 iterations. There was some significant uh, validation loss, but the model actually performed well. And these were pictures it was not trained on. These are pictures that the data set comes with. They're just test pictures it comes with. Not. Okay. So that way you don't have to go on Google and find any. They got some on this uh, folder. Okay. So here we go. Remember image shape, image size, same as the input and target shape. Resize 1 and 3, negative 1 and 3. Predict, prepare the image. This one is a clean one. This is 96.75%. It's clean. 3.2%. 3.25% chance messy. Looks pretty clean to me. Now the other ones did even better who were messy. Look. 100% messy. That's terrible. Yeah. And then this one as well. 100% messy. I'm surprised that didn't go over 100%. That's so terrible. Okay. Remember, guys, the folder comes with test pictures. If you follow it, you can, uh, you can do it even with a small data set size like this. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Next time we're going to do multi-class categorical, then we're going to deploy a SageMaker again. I got to get back to the cloud. Stay tuned.